hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i'm going to show you how you can perform object based image analysis using google Athena. so here i will explain how you can perform uh, image classification by using this technique so first of all i defined my study area actually that is a little patch over here in lahore pakistan and for that i defined uh, my geometry um, and i defined my latitude and longitude which you can see over here in code so after that i filtered sentinel 2 imagery and i selected pixel value as less than 30 and i filtered it for 2023 first month which is january and here i selected band dot uh, asterisks actually that means to select all the bands it is it, it, it is actually used to select all the bands so you can you know uh, the uh, band range is like 0 to 255 so it will select all the bands so which is necessary for our classification and here i applied the scale to my imagery and here the pakistani handsome is actually the true color to represent that imagery and rgb will represent the landsat imagery for b4 band 4 band 3 and band 2 and here band 11 band 8 and band 2 will be my own color to represent the true color imagery now here's the main thing that i defined training polygons actually these are the objects which i am going to take as uh, my classification sample so for example bare soil uh, can be my roads and things and for that i defined buffer 30 but here you have to notice one thing that for water i defined buffer as size only 3 why because it depends and you have to select the values accurately according to your study area and according to the need so in my case the water was very like um, uh, minor there so for that i selected buffer size as 3 and for other classes i selected 30 so it's up to you you have to select the accurate value that suits to your study area and your needs then you can select buffer size and range so later i will also show you how i selected and assign this size to the buffers when i will show the imagery but first i'm showing you the code here so here i defined latitude and longitude for each sample you can see in the code geometry point and after that i assigned that those points as classes so i defined five classes and i after defining my five classes i also applied a supervision technique here i applied random classifier okay and uh, then i trained it on uh, my classes and here's the palette and uh, color palette i'm using so you can just select this color palette according to your own needs and minimum and maximum means that i got five classes so i'm just going to represent five classes so here's the legend so for example it's land cover classification you, you can also replace it with object based image uh, assessing image analysis or image classification so it's up to you how you select your legend so it's all about the code you just wait on let me click on run but before going to run i just want to show you for example this is lahore pakistan and i will select a small patch uh, like here's the town is ichra so for example if i will focus on ichra and uh, our surrounding area so i will take a little subunit or a patch so first of all i'm going to click on run and i'll show you the results so here you can see that's my area for which i defined boundary so it's just being loading so here you can see and the green one appearing as my classified image so i'm just going to uncheck all the options to get back to our main imagery so this is our final object based image classification so here you can see bare soil um, grass is actually grass khel kud wale gardens uh, are actually child child playing grounds and and the urban and the water area and remember i told you that for water i, I just selected a buffer size or as a three why because here i'm just going to show you by zooming in by 
I will show you my training areas. That why I selected three because you can see the water is like very uh, acute here. For for example, if I click on uh, this training area, so you can see and you can feel why I selected buffer size so small because it was according to the need so for example if i click on sentinels or oh, sorry on satellite imagery so you will feel that water is very very rare here that it's canal uh, uh, with uh, like it's uh, near to uh, muslim town mode so you can see here the water is like not that much abundant so our training sample will be smaller but here you will see that uh, you can see that the grounds are a bit larger so that can be like Gaddafi stadium or different and you can see for other classes i selected a uh, buffer size as 30 to get my desired area now for example this one is a handsome pakistani true color imagery and you can see uh, this one for example if i uncheck my training areas so you can see that's the area and that's the RGB uh, land that I also loaded to visualize and the final one is our classified imagery which I classified on this study area so for example this is my Lahore area Samnabad, Ichra and this, this side and uh, you can see classified and this one is my final classified image so via this way you can perform um, object based image analysis and uh, you can select uh, your study area or you can define a bigger study area so it's up to you how you manage and how you take samples sample points so i simply defined in this uh, video and uh, you can also get this code if you want just simply mail me so it was all about the object based image analysis classification uh, object based image classifications so i hope that you liked if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell and bell icon thank you for watching my video stay blessed allah hafiz take care bye